Hey there, and welcome to my lazy review of this new film, Godzilla Minus One. Why is it called Minus One for? I have no freaking idea, but like so many people out there, after I saw the first trailer, I was damn sure intrigued because this is a return to form of the big lizard being the bad guy. He's a villain. Because there have been so many iterations of the big guy over the past 70 some odd years, a lot of fans are used to him being a hero or an anti hero, but tend to forget that. Way back in 1954, and it was in black and white, he was a big rampaging monster, and he was an allegory for Japan post-World War II because America dropped a fucking nuclear bomb on him. Sorry, but it happened. Sorry. We're sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Now, every video I ask and answer, three very simple questions, but also brand new My Hero Academia shirt. I figured anime, Japan, and... Okay, so question number one, did I like the film? It's what we're here for. Question number two, do I think you should see said film? But also question number three, being most importantly to me being blue collar is, one second, do I think this movie is worth your hard earned money? Now, I couldn't think of anything that would resemble Godzilla, so I got some good old, for my drink, Pepsi Zero, and mixed in with my good old buddy, the Kraken. Because Kraken and Pepsi is delicious. Release the Kraken. This stuff is, dear God, 94 proof, but whew, it's going to go down. I'm an alcoholic. It's a routine. I have to toast every single movie I talk about. You ready? Let's go. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh yeah. What's it is, your lips? It's so good. All right. Sit back, enjoy my intro, and then I'm going to talk about a low-budget Godzilla film. Yeah, you heard that, right? Let's go. Damn, that Kraken is strong like it's freaking Godzilla's breath. So, what's going on with the big lizard? Now, as much as we all love big monsters rampaging, destroying cities, you can't have an hour and a half or two hours of just that. You have to have a story and the human element. This one is no different. So, our story takes place post-1945 and post-World War II. Our main human is this guy called Shiki Shima. I'm going to say Shiki. He's a failed kamikaze pilot. What's kamikaze? Well, kamikaze, these guys are supposed to die in combat. He didn't die, he chickened out, so he's a coward. You're a pussy. Shiki does survive the first Godzilla attack. He's an asshole, he's flat out murdering people. Also, anybody will notice that this Godzilla seems to be a lot smaller than we're used to, but we'll get into that later. So essentially, as soon as the film whips out their Godzilla, it's smaller than to be expected. I can... I can relate. Having a micro penis isn't a crime. So now Shiki's trying to find a reason to live. He gets a kind of girlfriend, but also this baby that was an orphan and he adopts it. But all right, it's been two years. Then the government steps in. What they do? Offer him a job. But this job is very high risk, but also very high pay. What is it? Going out onto the sea, taking a boat and disabling mines that they put into the water. But guess what? Something now is attacking all of the naval ships. And we get to see the big lizard again, but guess what? He's even bigger, and now it's damn sure a horror movie because we see Godzilla in all his glory during the daytime, and holy shit, it's terrifying. We're all gonna die. This entire sequence is amazing, but also showing that these guys, they're not really hurting him, they're just slowing him down. And then when he gets pissed off, guess what? Here comes the infamous atomic breath. You see his back lighting up, everything's glowing blue, and when he shoots his atomic breath this time, instead of being this slow blue beam, it's a quick flash, and then an atomic bomb, and I'm like, oh shit. Then you will be scared shitless. And that's pretty much it. Will they find a way to defeat the big lizard? You may be surprised. I don't want to ruin it for you. Find it for yourself. So, back to my three questions. Number one off the bat is... Did I like this film? I can tell you one thing. I did not like this film because I fucking loved it. I love this movie. What is not to love? The film has everything. I could do a 30 minute video on it. I'm not going to, but I'm sure somebody else will. And by all accounts, this is a pure remake of the original film. It even uses the classic Godzilla theme and Godzilla himself looks amazing. He's terrifying. Last but not least, for the first time in a long time, we actually care about the humans. Not to spoil the third act, but we have redemption, forgiveness, unity, and even hope. So, coming into 
question number two. Do I think that you should see this film? Well, what do you think? You're goddamn right. You need to see this movie. I don't care if you weren't the biggest Godzilla fan. Here's a good place to start. And then finally, my last question. Do I think that this movie is worth your hard-earned money? You know what? I saw it in RPX. I'm going to see it a second time in IMAX the way it should be seen. So yeah, it's goddamn worth your money. Shut up and take my money. Okay, I am done with my three questions, so let's get to my rating system. And yeah, grab some good old alcohol. So, Godzilla, minus one, a remake of the original classic. How should I rate a film like this? It's not even a question, not a contest. Also, Hollywood, with a film that has a budget of $15 million, you all should fucking feel ashamed of yourself, since this shit looks better than anything Marvel Phase 4, that bullshit Indiana Jones movie, and whatever. So... Yeah, my rating system is Godzilla minus one, by all accounts, is a Godzilla classic. A modern classic. I can't wait to see it again. This film was a ton of fun. It's why we go to the movies, and these guys just know what it's like to make good films and take away the political messaging, the bullshit, and just give the fans what they want. Remember that? A time where give the people what they want, and the people want a big rampaging monster without any political bullshit okay it's simple and it makes people happy so as i always do i am low on time checking my watch yeah i have to edit this stuff grab bender go out and enjoy godzilla minus one see you later cheers this calls for a drink mm. good old kraken catchphrase it's called a catchphrase i will see you next time because i'm going back to work